Hello. Hello. This is John. Welcome, John. Nice to meet you. I'm Max. Max. Greetings, Max. Just wanted to meet you. I'm reading about your, your biography and the biography of Lyndon Johnson. So it's all interestingly tied together. Ah, I see. I will be watching a movie soon. The movie came out, Lyndon jo uh, um, LBJ. Ah, he was an interesting character. You, you enjoy reading about him, I'm sure. I, I, I enjoyed reading and I was very as excited about him and also uh, linked myself pretty much like I was uh, um, like associating him himself with me and and then I became darker and darker and I became sick so I had to stop at the time when he was in Congress yet he was yet a congressman. <clears throat> You will find that he wasn't all that great at the end. I, I know, I know. I, that's what I feel. I don't know the details, but it sounds like well, it went he down. Could have, he could have stopped the war that kept going, but he let, let it go for materialistic gain. Right. It looks like, is it him doing bad things or is it the system that took advantage of him? I'm not sure. Well, it is 50-50. He did some things that he shouldn't have. And the system also is responsible for some things. Uh, of course, this uh, neglect is on the part of humanity. But uh, he was... Um, Oh, you'll read it. You'll read it, and it will tell you exactly what I'm trying to say. Thank except you. As well. Right. So my question was, uh, what's your relationship with extraterrestrials? What was your relationship during the life? I knew they existed. I'm, I'm more than some other presidents. I did take an active... Uh, part in under trying to understand what they were doing or what they were trying to do. They were hard to understand for me at times because uh, they seemed very positive, but yet they had a very threatening stance as far as being around the earth sometimes. And so I didn't understand how they were positive and seemed very negative at the same time. Um, so so do, I, do, I, do I understand it now? I understand it more now. They have, you see, they, we look at them as a threat and they did not know how much of a threat we saw them as. So they were free to move close and, and do what, what they felt was friendly but it did not seem friendly to us uh was it the same species who, who, which species was it no there were at least a couple were the sarians and the, grace uh, we were frightened of the reptilians because uh -huh. the reptilians were frightening uh-huh but uh so we really didn't talk to them too much we did talk to uh, what you call you yell. Oh wow! And we talked to um, the Nordic people. They what were nicknamed the Nordic people because they were blonde-haired and blue-eyed and all that. But what is Pleiadians or Nordics? We had. They were Ple Nordic Pleiadians. Uh huh. Yes. Were they military ones or peaceful ones? I'm not sure. We didn't talk to them 
in detail about what kind of culture they had. We did talk to them in detail about what business they had with the earth. Uh -huh. And it appeared that at one time they did have a military uh, area in World War II. Uh-huh. But they said that that was something that they would never do again. Can you elaborate on that? Yes, they were what you would call the Aryan race. Uh huh. According to when Hitler met them, they were tall, blonde, muscular, blue eyed. He was very enamored with them and wanted that everyone should be like them because they were well spoken, intelligent, and seemingly very good but they were actually not very good because they were trying to manipulate the war to their favor so that they could actually uh, rule the puppet government. Uh -huh. But, but uh, that never happened because they were found out and uh, by other aliens and aliens sent their own group to go against them. Uh-huh. And so what happened is they were able to crack all their cryptic notes because they had to be, they had to use them on human technology. And so that made them easier to break. If they were on the alien technology, they couldn't have been broken. However, right. mm -hmm. human technology was limited and could only use so much of the cryptic information and detail. So they were able to break their codes and actually mm -hmm. beat them at their own game. Uh huh. I'm trying to figure out the identity of those. So, of who, who of came the later? No, no, the, yes, those two, but initially of the Nordics. Oh, they're tall, blonde, blue eyed, strong, very muscular, very uh -huh. good looking. They look like humans, and that's why they're deemed the most dangerous of the aliens, is because they are charming at first but they have hidden agendas and they are very ruthless or they, they were ruthless at that time they, so these were real, they, real nordics got it yes uh-huh and uh i was i heard that the uh, negative syrians were involved are you aware of that they were helping the nordics but not directly on the planet they would have not have been accepted as well. But uh, of course their technology was, some of it was there and some of it was also starting to be backwards engineered, but it was never finished. Energy sources were the most uh, problematic. You see if, if they were given the proper energy sources for these things, they could have worked, but they have, that was the part they had to figure out themselves because if the Nords would bring the energy source or the Syrians, they would be found out immediately by the galactic government. And they didn't want that because they knew that they were not supposed to bring that information to the earth, especially at that primitive time of existence. What was your role in, in, in the meetings later? I just wanted to keep a neutral grounds. I wanted to keep peace with them, 
but I really didn't want to become too involved with their agenda because I had too many agendas of my own. Um, Wait. Go ahead. Their agendas would have taken quite a bit of time. They promised they would bring a lot of good and positive things, but yet we were going to have to make sacrifices first. And that is something that I questioned. What kind of sacrifices? Well, they wanted uh, uranium, plutonium. Uh, they wanted some different exchanges. And I found them to be, at that time, unacceptable. Was there a hybridization program uh, discussed? Um, they said we were already hybrids and they would like to continue the program, but I, I couldn't really follow their thought process. I don't consider myself a hybrid, or I did it at that time. They tried to explain the ancient uh, alien theory, but to me, it was a bunch of, uh, it, it seemed unlikely at that time. Uh, did you go off planet to, vi to visit their ships? No, no, I never did that, no. Did, you, did they visit you in your place or do you have, did you have to go to military base? They did visit us in, at our place at that time. It was not forbidden by the Galactic Council like it is now because the Ascension had not yet officially started. So they were allowed to visit in person, but not to affect in any way the way things were run or done or give it any kind of technology. They were allowed to interact and speak to us and that was about the extent of their permission to be on Earth. Um, how big was your role compared to other humans? I assume the president is not the biggest uh, authority in, in the relationship with aliens. I think may, maybe there were other people who were closer to the aliens than you, right? Yes, oh yes. Um, they talked to the SETI people and they talked to Russia and some other countries, but not usually. They didn't spend much time with the leaders because the leaders were basically not interested in what they had to say. And we gave them to people that were more interested in their agendas or what they were doing or technology. Um, we just, as president, vice president, secretary of state, we had a lot of stuff going on. And so we couldn't really deal with a whole outer space deal. Did Lyndon Johnson uh, be involved? Was Lyndon Johnson involved in a meeting with the aliens? Yes, yes. He ah. did some of that. He, he was less kind to them than I was. He seemed to me more an alien than you. He seemed what? He seemed to me to, to, me to be a more an alien than you are. You're more a human. Yeah, well, maybe it was more alien, but, you know, he got, uh, they sort of clashed, maybe because their personalities were too much alike. <laughs> What did he want? He, he, he wanted them just to leave us alone for now. Oh, we really? are, what he said to them was actually pretty logical. He said to them, look, you're way beyond our technical advancement. We're not ready to deal with you yet, so you should leave us alone for at least 50 years. Ah. 
Yeah, makes sense. So he said, we're not ready for you yet. Maybe someday we will be, but right now you're, we are not ready for you. And I cannot deal with you if we can't, if we can't actually communicate on an even ground. So he yep. goes, huh? Yeah, he didn't like to be communicated, to be on a, on a sub subordinate position. Yes, he didn't like that at all. And so um, you are correct about that. And that is exactly how he dealt with it. And now 50 years passed. And they are once again, I'm sure, talking to humans, except I understand that there's a lot more rules and regulations from the galactic councils now than there was before. And I think that is probably a good thing. So were, you, were your assassination um, timely in terms of, did you run out of your program? Was it a plan for your soul to live at that time? Well, it left, whether it was planned to leave or not. I think that it probably was the right time. It actually served a positive purpose for me to leave in that particular way, even though it was not a positive thing for the family. It was a positive thing for the world and the United States. Why would it be positive? I mean, you were much, you were much against, more against the war than, than Lyndon Johnson. Yes, but they, um, they had actually loved me a lot. And so they were able to, they were able to get a lot of things that they wanted other than the war. The war was really not, the war was really not um, forefront on their mind at that moment. So they had a lot of other issues that they took care of because I had left so early and because fa the family was uh, large in the government. And so it were, there was a lot of em uh, emphasis put on the details of my death that sort of took them out of the war a little bit, which I thought, thought was good. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I heard that uh, more reforms were done after you were gone than before, dur than during your time. Correct. Um, were you killed because of your connections with aliens or any position about the aliens? Oh, no. I was killed because of my connections with Cuba and with Russia. Ah. Can you elaborate? Well, Russia had a very big part of the influence that Cuba had pointing their missiles toward the United States. They uh -huh. influenced them to do so, so that we would have to take action of some sort. You see, Russia figured if we would take action against Cuba in warlike fashion, they could be in a position to actually support our decline. Uh huh. And how 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 was it logically connected with your assassination? Why were you killed then? Because I was going to, if if necessary, I was going to attack Cuba, and they many of those around me saw that as uh, dis the downfall of the United States, and so they wanted it stopped. I see. Also, there was it would, uh, been, it would not have been the downfall of the United States, I but 
would have put them in a precarious position. I see. But the thing is, there is a lot of fraidy cats in Congress and Senate. Uh huh. So I, I read a biography of yours where it said that you, by the time of assassination, you were so sick you couldn't continue. Is it right? Um, not completely. I wasn't that sick. I, there was illness. I did have some problems. Um, but it, I could still continue. The thing is, I think I was being poisoned. Oh, and that right. was part of the sickness. Right. That's what my feeling too. You seem to be being poisoned. Yes. Yes, that's what I concluded. I so I stopped eating certain things that were given to me by certain people, and then in the actual White House, I believe there was some uh, someone in the cafeteria or the cook or someone was working against me. Yes, that was my feeling too. Either that, either chemical poisoning or radiation poisoning. Yes, and um, it was chemical, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow. Do you want to comment on uh, the role of Lyndon Johnson in assassination of you? I do not really think they involved him. I see. I think that uh, the reason why they did it, even though he would have probably taken part, but they didn't involve him. They said, we're keeping you out of this. We don't want anything that could possibly attach itself to you from this. So this is going to be a covert operation and you don't even know what's going to happen. Excellent. So it's much easier for me now to read the biography because I was so afraid that he was involved as an organizer. No, I no. I see. Yeah, nope. because that's what they made me think when I yeah, go ahead. I actually believe they kept him completely out of it. I see. But I he probably heard something about it, but uh -huh. he didn't know enough about it to know even who was doing it. Did it result in the change of the power who, who controlled the, the, the country? Obviously it, it did. Yes. I see. Now, what did you do after the death? Is there anything interesting? I came here. Uh-huh. I looked on with interest to what was happening with everything. And finally, I, I, was, I was disappointed. I was disappointed with uh, Lyndon. Right, uh-huh. I didn't think he handled himself appropriately. Uh huh. But yet, as I looked back into some of the things I did, I, I wasn't so appropriate either. Uh huh. I was a little bit of a womanizer, and that was not appropriate for my office. Uh huh. And I, I did have my uh, indulgences. But um, I thought Lyndon's uh, sins were greater in some ways uh -huh. because I thought that he was more power hungry than he was interested in the, the people. Right. Uh -huh. And the people saw him in a different light because he was happened to be an incredibly charming person. Mm -hmm. And he was a good talker. And he could talk his way out of anything. Even if they knew he did it, he could talk himself out of it somehow. Uh -huh. And point the finger somewhere else. Uh -huh. Sort of like your present president. <laughs> what do you think about our present president? 
Not much. <laughs> they, he is totally self-ordained and self-guided, and very few people are close to him, and he wants little input from most people. Uh -huh. This is not wisdom, in my opinion. Right. So it's, he's unlikely to make an impact. He's unlikely to, well, he will make an impact, but it, he is unlikely to make a positive impact. Uh-huh. He will make an impact because he will bring down, he will bring down part of the, the popularity of the United States. He will bring down the way things are done. Things are already permanently changed because of the way he does things. Yes. Uh huh. I cannot say that it is necessarily all bad, uh -huh. but there are certain things that will be a stigma to those after him. Right. Mm -hmm. I agree. So you're still in the spirit, just looking at things, analyzing things. Is there any active part in what you're doing? Are you doing anything yeah. active? Well, I'm protecting my children and my ex-wife. She's been remarried, so I call her ex, but I uh -huh. am still protecting those Kennedys that are left. Wow. Is your interest in aliens uh, any more expanded? Are you following the extraterrestrial uh, development? Well, we're on a friendlier basis because their souls are also here. Oh, wow. And, and when I want to speak to an alien, I have no problem finding one. Uh-huh. So there is a greater appreciation. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, do you, uh, there is a rumor that Mar Marilyn Monroe wa was killed because of the alien, because of her desire to disclose things uh, to the press. Can you? Oh, uh, yes. It, it wasn't because of the well, she knew a couple big secrets that she shouldn't have heard. And one of them was about aliens, but it wasn't anything that would get her killed. The thing that got her killed was knowing too much about what I was doing with Cuba and who was involved in all that and a few other things with Russia as well. She had information about a Russian leader that she shouldn't have had, and that's why she was killed. Was it Khrushchev at the time? I don't remember. I think Khrushchev, right? Yes. So what, what, what is there to know about him? He was, he was a warmonger, but he also, his music was the sound of machine guns and bombs. That was his percussive section. Uh-huh. I didn't know. Okay. It uh, always thrilled him. I didn't know. Wow. So what, what was that she knew about him that was a secret? Um, I am not sure which of the secrets that was known about him that she knew, but I found out later uh, she had read things from my desk and had seen things on other places as well because I had given her a little more free roam than I should have. Okay. You know, she was real, she was a pretty girl. But, I mean, what would she do with that? I mean, some people were afraid that she would have done something. What would she well, do she with it? She got caught looking. Oh, she would investigate further and she will discover more truth and then she will make it public? 
Well, they weren't sure if she was going to be a spy with that information or not. They weren't going to take any chances. Uh huh. I see now. They caught her looking. They knew what she saw. They said they made a decision that she had to go. Wow. And who were they? Um. Well, I I, I don't want to say that. That that's something I don't want to say. Uh, they okay. were people in the White House. They were people that had. Uh, but uh, that is something that your people you have to discover for yourself. Sure, sure. I absolutely no problem. But I can tell you, Lyndon knew about it. Oh, okay. Of course, he was very knowledgeable. Yeah. They brought everything to him. Uh huh. Because he was the one who could change things without seeming like he's changing things. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Thank you very much for talking to me. Nice meeting you. And uh, now, as you know who I am, I invite you to, uh, to pay more attention to the developments of the first contact and uh, the light workers. Yeah, I'm paying attention, but I have little to do with it. Now you have a little more... Uh, we have one more connection. We can we can speak more often. Come more often and speak to us. Your uh, your experience and your uh, uh, reputation is uh, is uh, making a possibility for you to influence the things just by by your advice and experience. Of course, I was I did love the country and the people in it. There was no question about that. And that made me be loved to the people because they could feel my concern for them. I think that's what made me as a, a politician as powerful as I was. Yes. Uh huh. So do you want to add anything else? And uh, uh, before, we, we, before we close this part. No, I am fine. Uh, I, thank you very much. Uh -huh. It's interesting to talk about this. There are few people that want to anymore, but I, I am still interested in talking to the world sometimes. Excellent. Yes. Uh huh. The movie came out. Uh, LBG. I will watch it, and uh, the interest to that story will uh, will will be reignited. I, I think, think that that of paint him. Probably worse than he really was, but you never know. I will check it out. I think they painted him softer than he he really was. They they painted him what? Softer, which is not right. He wasn't soft at all. No, he was not a soft. Soft was not something that I would use to describe him. <laughs> um, he was not soft at all. Uh huh. He was hard as they come and um, pragmatic and decisive. He was definitely, a, he's a, one of those baseball gloves that had been used a lot. Uh-huh, uh-huh. He was leathery. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Um, come again to speak. And um, I invite now, if possible, Alan Ginsberg, if he's available. Alan Ginsberg. Uh -huh. All right. Very well. I didn't know him. Uh, not at all, right? I mean, the, you were contemporaries for sure. Yeah, but I guess. He, he came after me. Yeah. He wasn't famous enough in, in those years. Yes. Uh-huh. He was more famous after I died. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll bring him if possible. Thank Be you. well, my friend. Be well. My fellow American. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. All right. <laughs>